And no. <coughs> we're looking at this. So that's B, that should be 12. And we should have 4 as <coughs> Q. And the last one is the same as the first one. So you get 1 third, 3, 12 Q. We got 17, 28, plus 2, 56. Then you're going to have 17, 28. That comes out to be 13, 12 centimeters <coughs> power. So that's just I, Y. I mean, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for I, Y bar. So <coughs> we still need the area. A and it is going to be A1 plus A2 plus A3. <coughs> A1 is 12 times 3. A2 will be another 12 times 4. Then you have 12 times 3. <coughs> so that's 36, 36, 72, 48. And 120 centimeters per hour fourth. <coughs> we need x bar for the case x bar is going to be a1, a2, a3, all added up. x1, a1, x2 bar a2, x3 bar a3. <coughs> now, what's x1 bar? What do you think is going to be x1 bar? Yeah, here, come back here. This is rectangle 1. The total here was 6, 12, so this will be 6. So that's x1 bar. For this one here, that's the distance. It will be 2. For this one here, that's c3. That's going to be 6. So, <coughs> we're looking at 6, the area itself is 36, plus you have 2, then you have 48, then you have another 6, and 36. To fire it by, <coughs> the area we just found was 120. And if you do go through the <coughs> calculations, then this comes out to be 4.4 .4 centimeters. <coughs> so I Y bar will be this number, the 3712 minus the area which is 120. The distance is 4.4 .4 to the square. <coughs> and this comes out to be approximately 1389 centimeters power 4. Now, this is not the uh, only way of doing this problem. So, you could think of this problem as just two rectangles. I could say this is rectangle 1, this is one, one big block, minus this rectangle. If I do that, then Ix would be Ix1 minus Ix2. <coughs> that will be 1, 12. You have 12, 18 cubed, plus 12 here, and this one which is 18, minus 1, 12, you look at this, that's 12 minus 4 is 8. You look at this, <coughs> that's 12 cubed. And in one single shot, 
we get the answer as 4680 power 4th. Instead of going through 1 plus 2 plus 3, you can just do it in <coughs> this way. But, when you try for IY, try using the same method for IY, then it won't work. The reason it won't work is, you have this rectangle, you have Y axis at the edge. So you can use the IY for this, but for this rectangle, it's not at the edge. So, you have to go through two separate steps. First, you're going to find <coughs> inertia of this, large zone centroid, which will be middle of this. Then, <coughs> IY would be <coughs> IY bar plus A D square, where D is going to be this distance. And so that's your IY2. IY1 is just PHQ over 3. So IY would become IY1 minus IY2. So you can, you can use the formula, which means you take this, subtract this. So that's not a problem. It's just that this is not the same reference point. So you have to go through a step where you use that equation to find the inertia of that above the y-axis. Okay, your problem set 2.1.